hey guys welcome to this video and it's time to test the dual camera on huawei honor 6x so as you guys know that we have got two cameras here so one of these is 12 megapixel camera and the other one is 2 megapixel camera and between them they share the aperture of 0.95 to f16 and that's what they you know share in between them and you can toggle between it and that's how it produces the bokeh effect which this device is known for or what Huawei is basically pitching this device on so uh, let's go ahead and see how this bokeh effect actually works so once in the camera app you have to actually turn on this option here on the top it turns blue and that means that now you are using both these cameras to produce the bokeh effect in the photos so you can actually you know focus at any point and then you get this slider on the side so you can toggle it so if you look at it closely it actually shuffles between f16 to f0.95 so there you go all the way down is f16 and all the way up is 0.95 so once you are all the way up to 0.95 it produces the maximum amount of bokeh effect and once you take it all the way down to f16 everything in the photo is in focus so there is no bokeh effect at all other than that it uh, actually uh, takes very good photos in bright day sunlight it takes excellent photos the color detail saturation dynamic range is all good for the price of this uh, device however if you move to indoors and at night there is some noise in the photos and they're not really that good or of that high quality although the night mode here actually you know helps this night shot here helps and hdr helps in night shot actually takes 15 seconds to take a photo and produces very good results but it's best if you put it on a tripod and then take a photo with nitro otherwise it's all gonna be blurry anyways i have got some samples for you guys uh, that include both without the bokeh effect and with the bokeh effect at different apertures so you can see how it produces these effects and how well the photos comes out So hopefully you have enjoyed the photos and you've seen that uh, how well it can produce the bokeh effect in these photos and otherwise photos in the bright day sunlight are excellent anyway. Now let's take a look at the camera app itself a little bit. So if we swipe from the right we have the settings here so we can select different resolutions here and then we have GPS tag. We can also set priority to save the photos to the SD card and then we have camera grid, mute option, timer audio control touch to capture i just you know tapping on the screen it will take the photo capture smiles object tracking is there as well touch and hold shutter button so you can you know use it for different uh, options burst shoot or focus by you know just tapping on this right now i have it set at burst so it will take these burst photo otherwise you can set it to focus as well and then we have volume button functions so you can set it to shutter zoom and focus we also have ultra snapshot and here you can you know press this volume down button twice to open the camera and take photo you can set it at that or you can just set it to open camera and then we have got image adjustment so you can set saturation contrast and brightness before taking the images and swiping from the left you know takes you to these modes so we have got photo pro photo beauty video pro video mode we've got beauty video mode here as well hdr night shot panorama good food light painting time lapse slow mo watermark audio node and document scan here so we have got these modes here so this is a very capable camera app up top we have got front camera option here we've got filters here so you can uh, use different filters while taking your photos and then again we have over this you know bokeh effect button here that uses both the cameras to produce bokeh effect and obviously we've got a flash buttons on the top here so you can set it to automatic you can set it on or you can you know keep it on continuously now the front camera here is also a very capable one it's an 8 megapixel camera it takes very good photos and this is actually you know a wide camera that takes very wide selfies so you can um, have a lot more detail in the photo and Huawei puts really good front cameras in its devices anyways so it is dependable and very good front camera let's talk about the video mode here so if I go in video mode and slide from the right we've got resolution so you can shoot in FHD 1080p 
or HD 720p and then VGA, QVGA and MMS and then we have GPS tag again you can set priority to save it to SD card mute object tracking is here as well and volume button function is here as well so that was the camera app and that was the camera review of Huawei Honor 6X I hope you have enjoyed it if you have any other questions regarding this camera you can always ask me in the comments so you can catch me up on Twitter I'll put the links in the description and at the end of the video and I will see you in the next video guys till then take care and bye bye